All right, Coach Crab 127 here, and we are continuing our tutorial teaching you how to stream on Twitch. At this point, you have the retro console, the capture card, and the rest of your cords hooked up to your TV and your computer. You fixed your OBS settings properly, and you downloaded the Amarec TV software and fixed its settings. So, this video is going to teach you how to capture Amarac TV video into OBS Studio so you can live stream on Twitch. The first thing you want to do is turn on your retro console and then open up the Amarac TV software. You'll see that Amarac TV captures the game in your retro console. So right here we've got a Super Mario Brothers 3 and we have it on our uh, computer screen right now. So we know that the capture card is working and we know that uh, the, the uh, um, Amarec TV setup is working. Next, you want to open up OBS Studio. So go ahead and do that. And don't worry about uh, this infinity mess you see right here. You won't see that on your screen. You, you On your screen, you're probably just seeing all black. So instead, what I want you to focus on is focus on down here where it says Scenes in the bottom left. You want to create a new scene, so hit the plus button. And let us uh, you can name your scene whatever you want to. Let's name it Retro Stream. Let's name it Retro Stream. Okay, now my screen just went black. That's okay. Yours should be black as well. All right, I'm going to change mine, but yours should still be black. Okay, so what you're going to do now is you're going to look in where it says Sources. Okay, sources, you're going to hit add, and you are going to click on video capture device. Click on that. We're going to have a change here in just a second. Uh, for video capture device, let's, uh, for the title, let's just name it um, Amarec TV. Okay, because that is what you are capturing right here is your Amarec TV software. Hit OK. Now we're going to see a change right here. Whoop, you only see me. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. You want to look at the screen that just popped up here that says uh, Properties for Amarec TV. You want to go down to where it says Device, and you want to make sure that the device selected is Amarec Video Capture. Amarec Video Capture. Click on it. And there you go. You now see the uh, retro game that you are playing on your screen. And what you want to do now is scroll down to the bottom where it says use custom audio device check that box scroll down even further and make sure that you are choosing Amarec audio capture hit OK and there you have it well that music is really loud isn't it let me turn down the music a little bit there that's a bit better isn't it okay so here let me go ahead and do this as well yeah, there we go. So you have your game capture right here. You have your game capture, and you are just about ready to stream on Twitch. Okay, before you go live, there's a couple things I want to go over with you that I think that you'll appreciate. Um, what you want to do, uh, if you want to make your uh, window bigger, your capture, your game capture window bigger, you can uh, click on it and drag to make it bigger. See the red outline on the outside? You can't see it on my screen, but I'm sure you can see it on yours. If you click in the center of your game capture, look at the red outline and click in the corner. Just click and hold and drag it. You can make it bigger like that. You can drag like that. Now I'm going to talk about how to stretch it and to crop it as well. If you uh, click on the side and first of all, hold down the shift button and then click on the side, you can click and drag. You can stretch it out like this. I don't recommend it for retro games, but you can. Or you can make it smaller like that. Um, you can also stretch it vertically. Hold, once again, hold down the shift button, click on the bottom, and stretch just like that. Stretch it out, squish it in, however you want to do it. Um, you can also crop if you hold down the uh, Alt button. Hold down the Alt button and click. You can crop. Click and drag, and you can crop just like that. Once again, hold down the Alt button, click and drag and you can crop okay so you can do it you can do that as well however you'd like to uh, to uh, to set it up okay something else you can do uh, let me put on this uh, so you can see down here again 
Uh, let me just move Amarek TV out of the way real quickly. You can't see my video game capture on the screen right now, but that's okay. Don't worry about that. What I want you to do is come down to Sources, right-click on Amarek TV, go up to where it says Transform, and what you want to do is you want to click on Fit to Screen. And once you do that, you will see that your game is now big and right in the center of the screen. That's an easy way to uh, make it nice and centered. If you want to set up your microphone, you can do that as well. Uh, I want you to take a look real quickly at the mixer right here. Look at the mic auxiliary. You want to click on this little uh, spinning wheel right here for settings. Go to properties. And your device, you can use whatever device that you have for your microphone. Default would be your, uh, well, I actually have my default set as my uh, gaming headset right there. But uh, whatever your uh, um, microphone wants to be, whatever you want to use as your microphone, set that up. And then click OK. I'm just going to click Cancel so it doesn't change or anything. All right. And uh, now you will notice that there is a slight delay on the video. So you want to delay your microphone as well. It is very minuscule, but you still want to delay it a little bit. That way you are not reacting sooner than your gameplay. So what you want to do is go to Advanced Audio Properties, Sync Offset, Look at your mic. Now the the uh, um, the offset is very very small. It's probably different depending on your capture card. Every capture card is a little bit different, but mine is about 30 milliseconds. So I would put that is uh, three hundredths of a second, right? So it's very minuscule. So I'm just going to put in uh, 30 milliseconds right there as my sync offset like that. If you want to add a webcam, you can as well. So let's look at uh, your sources right here. You want to hit plus to add. You want to add another video capture device. And I already have a webcam existing. You can do create new, which is fine. Uh, let's just say webcam two, okay? But you can say what, you can name it whatever you want. You go to device, HD webcam, and make sure that is chosen and just hit okay. And there you go, you have your webcam. You can shrink it once again, reach up in that top left hand corner, click and drag to shrink it down like that. Let me get rid of this display capture. There we go, and you have a webcam as well. You can put it wherever you'd like. We can fit it right up in the corner right here. So you can have your webcam while you are streaming. Now you'll notice that since you did the uh, offset of your mic, you'll notice that my voice is not quite synced up. So you need to create a filter for your webcam as well. So what you need to do, let me open up the display capture one more time. There we go. I'm going to move the webcam out of the way for now. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to come down to where it says Mixer and click on the settings for your webcam. So click on settings and you want to go to filters. And when you go to filters, up here where it says audio video filter, you want to right click, add, Video Delay Async. And you can just name it whatever you'd like. Let's just name it Video Delay. And you want to set the, the delay for the same amount that you set your microphone delay. So we set the microphone delay for 30 milliseconds. So that's how much we're going to do it right there. Click Close. And you will see now that the webcam is much more... Well, uh, let me hang on there we go you can see now that the webcam is synced up much better now with my voice you can tell that uh, when I am talking that the, uh, the the voice is coming out at the right time now whereas before uh, the words were coming out just a little bit too late okay so we have set up our webcam and we have set up our uh, game capture now we are ready to stream Okay, finally we are ready to stream. So what you want to do right now is let me go ahead and put up my display capture. There we go. Now you want to go down to uh, open up your web browser, whatever it may be. Go to twitch.tv. Make sure you are logged in and click on your name over in the right top right hand corner. Click on dashboard. And once you are in your dashboard, you want to type in the title of your stream, whatever it may be. You can just type in my first stream ever. 
you can type it in for go live notification as well type in the game that you are playing super mario all-stars select it and then you can click on update information once you have done that make sure you keep your chat box open over here then all you have to do is make sure that your stream is set up the way you want it to make sure your windows right here are set up the way you want to and click on start streaming so I would need to make sure that my window looks like this right here uh, like get rid of the get, okay so once I set mine up like this I am ready and I would click on start streaming and boom you're live there you go play talk to your viewers gain lots of followers and have fun that's it so that concludes my tutorial on how to stream live on Twitch. I hope that you found it uh, user friendly and easy to follow. And uh, thanks for watching. If you would like to follow me on Twitch, just remember to go to twitch.tv slash coachcrab127 and click that follow button. I would really appreciate that. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you again in the future with more tutorial videos.